Hey Hoopers, it's Deanne Love here and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to do the 180 degree turn with twin hoops. It really doesn't matter what level you're at with your twin hooping, this is a beautiful one to access if you're feeling it. Now this is also a move that we use to put into a twin flow towards the end of my 21 day twin flow experience. And I know that it is a move that some of the hoopers have a challenge with. So I thought I would break it down a little bit more in this tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using an orange Poly Pro in my right hand and a pink Poly Pro, that's hard to say, in my left hand for the whole tutorial so that you can memorize the right and the left. These guys are from Super Hooper and they are 90 centimeters, which I believe is about 35 inches. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, let's break it down. What's going to happen is we're going to be spinning two hoops in opposite directions and we're going to turn from one side of the room and do a 180 to go to the opposite side of the room. Now there are other tricks that you can transition in between that but we're just going to go for the 180 degree breakdown. Okay, to start this off I'm going to show you what happens with the right hand. Now this is assuming that the right hand is going to be going backwards. If you are having a few challenges with your forwards and your backwards spin on your hands, then it is time to give them a little drill. Make sure that your elbow is in close to your body, that your shoulders are back and down, and that your fingers always point out. If you're ever feeling your hoops kind of coming in towards the center line or, or going off balance, it's because your wrist and your hand is not open up. So thumb up, fingers out, and you can get used to squeeze, send backwards, squeeze, send forwards. Okay, so let's check it out. The right hand is going to be going backwards. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the thumb towards the forefinger or the pointer finger, and then the pointer finger towards the ceiling. And it looks like this, a thumb forefinger switch. Say what? Let's do that again. Right hoop is going backwards, and you might be mirroring this, your left hoop might be going backwards. Right hoop going backwards, thumb towards the pointer finger, like this. So press them together, and then thumb goes out, pointer fingers go up. So you will end up going from here to here. Try that out, sometimes you need to drill palm facing forwards, palm facing out, and now the hoop is spinning on your thumb. So try that a few times. This is the hoop that's spinning backwards. Thumb, forefinger switch. What? Now if you feel like you're reaching out or you're reaching back, just try to stay in the sideline of the body and that will help you. It can take some time. So it's okay to stop right here and practice. Spinning backwards, thumb, forefinger, and now the coolest thing is that when the hoop is on the downbeat, down, 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 it's very easy to catch it. And this is what we want. So we're going from thumb in to a catch. Because as we turn, we're going to do kind of a half weave. And now as the right hand comes back, the hand will be ready to spin the hoop forward. So practicing the right hand or left if you're going to turn to the left. Whatever hoop is spinning backwards, that's the way that you will turn. Spinning backwards, thumb, forefinger switch. When the hoop is on the downbeat, down, down, down. Grasp the fingers over the top. Lead with the thumb. Turn a full 
180, so it's great if you can line yourself up wall to wall so that you don't kind of lose your direction. Then when the hoop is in your right side plane again and you have done your full 180, spin forwards. All right, so back, thumb for finger, grasp, forwards. See how you go. Elbow in, shoulder back, thumb up, palm forward. Spin back. Thumb for finger, down, 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 squeeze, turn, push forward. Okay, that is the right hand if you're turning towards the right. If you were turning towards the left, then you would do all of that on your left side. Now let's take a look at what the left hand would be doing. I'm going to stay in the same direction because I'm going to turn to the left and I want to show you what it looks like. So my left hand over here will be spinning forwards. As I turn, and we'll put it all together soon, as I turn, I do my half little weave first. So I squeeze the hoop and I bring it over. And as I'm turning, now I've done my 180 turn, my thumb is on the inside and my hoop can go back for a thumb, four fingers in, and now my left hoop will be spinning backwards. So yes, they switched. Right hoop backwards, when you do the 180, it will be forwards. Left hoop forwards, when you do the 180, it will be backwards, or completely mirrored if you want to turn in the opposite direction. So let's take a look. Left hoop forwards. Squeeze and do a weave as you turn. Now the hoop is in your left plane. Your thumb will be on the inside. Spin it back once. Push your four fingers in and now you are in this hand spin or side hand spin. Let's try it again. Forwards weave. No, forward spin. <laughs> Don't get them confused. Squeeze and half weave over. Thumb, four fingers. And that transition, if you're feeling like it takes a little bit of time, push your thumb out towards me, push your four fingers in, and now you're spinning backwards. Okay, let's see if we can put both of those together. Give your hands a little shake and let's do it. All right, both of my hoops are spinning forwards. The orange one is my right hand. The pink one is my left hand. I'm going to squeeze my right hand only. This can be a challenge. Now you are split direction. Right hand going backwards, left hand going forwards. Try that a few times if you need. Both hips going forwards, elbows in close, shoulders back and down, thumbs up, palms facing forwards. Squeeze the right or whichever way you would like to turn. The hoop that's going backwards is the way you're going to turn. So I'm turning towards my right. Simultaneously, I'm going to do a thumb forefinger switch on my right as I half weave with my left. Now, my right hand is ready to spin forwards. It was spinning backwards. And my left hand is ready to spin backwards. It was spinning forwards. Let's break it down again. Come with me. Two hoops, forward spin. Right hand squeeze, backwards. Simultaneously, right hand, thumb four finger, left hand grip. Do a full 180 turn. You will have your if left hand on the top, your right hand on the inside. This is easy to spin forwards. And then your left hand, Thumb, four finger, spin back. I'm going to show you from a few angles.
super. I know that that can get a little bit confusing, but my biggest tips are make sure that you line yourself up with some walls or with the road, whatever it is, so that you can fully execute your 180. You want to go from facing one side wall all the way around to the other. When you get those planes sharp, then you will feel like you can take your hoops with you. I would also suggest that you do one hand at a time and then really work towards blending both so that you can coordinate left and right. It is not easy in the beginning, but it is definitely worth it. Give your hands a rest, give yourself some time to break it down. Remember to breathe and have fun and play. Try and bring some other tricks into this 180 degree turn. I can't wait for you to tag me on Instagram. I am at DeanneLoveXO. Big hoop love from me to you. Mwah.